Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My country, 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. Are you going outside today? Do you leave yeah, your house? I think I'll go outside today. Yeah. Yes. Take Tilly for house. a walk? All right. Yes, absolutely. Every day. All right. Here's something that uh, sounds good to us. It's a new trend. It is called slow living. Now, what is this? This it, sounds like me. And it's hashtag the art of slow living on Instagram. Uh, Candy, it's basically a fancy way of saying be lazy. Uh, oh. But yes, it talks about uh, you don't have to be uh, so active to be productive and successful. Uh, you can uh, do self care candy. You can uh, sit and relax and only say yes to the uh, events that you really truly uh, want to go to and you want to, uh, you know, manically, I am all for this. manically check off your to do list. You don't have to be doing that candy. They call it slow living. Cut back a little bit. Cut back the running around. What do you say? I say this was my idea, and who stole it? Yeah, my father's not going to like this at all. No? My, no. He's, he, he likes to run around a lot? This is laziness. He's going to call oh. this laziness, for well, sure. Well, I like laziness. It's, it's good. <laughs> it's a new thing. The art of I'm slow living. I'm a big living. proponent. Not all the time, but you definitely have to have your down moments. No yes. question. Yes. Uh, a man named Harry Potter sold a rare copy of Harry Potter for $38,000. What was so rare about his copy? It's a rare first edition of the first Harry Potter book. And the guy had it because his name is actually Harry Potter. He's a 33-year-old man. His father bought it for him in 1997 when it first came out. There were only 500 copies made. Wow. And he just sold it for $38,000. Yeah. He says he needs the money, so uh, he sold the book. Is that incredible? Right. Well, you read it, that's it, you're done. That's it. Now, you know, it's. I guess he must have really needed the money because that, I mean, you know, it's a gift from his father who died, yeah. by the way. His father's oh, gone. And, yeah. and uh, you know, it's just interesting. But he sold $38,000 wow. at auction. Yeah. Uh, Candy, today is National, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, National Exascale Day. EX- What's that? A-S-C-A-L-E. Exascale Day is a day that celebrates scientists and researchers who make breakthrough discoveries. Oh, we should celebrate them every day. Yes. Uh, Today is International Legging Day. You got your leggings ready? Well, I have pajama pants on right now, but (laughs) I love leggings. Yes, I do. It is National Chocolate Cupcake Day. Mm, Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is National No Beard Day. Well, I don't have one today, and I don't think I'm going to have one tomorrow. Where do you stand? I am due for a shave. I am. Oh. I, uh, I've been slacking. I, def- I oh. should have done it yesterday. I did not. Uh, okay. And it's National Clean Your Virtual Desktop Day today, Candy. Oh, yes. I, I, I could straighten it out a little. Is your computer, yeah, is it, I was going to say, you open up the desktop. How much stuff is on there? Is it completely crazy? No. All right. It's not completely crazy. All right, because well, I just really, I mean, I use it, but it's mostly for work. All right, you got to you gotta uh, clean it up. Today's National Clean Up the Virtual Desktop Day. A uh, couple interesting stories. I was reading this. Researchers at the University of Texas uh, say horseback riding is the most dangerous sport. Mm. Above hockey, race car driving, skiing, football, all this stuff. It says horseback riding. Uh, chest injuries are the most common. Oh, wow. And uh, it talks about how um, that is the over the course of the last 10 years or so, that is the most dangerous sport. How about the, this story? Uh, a, did you hear about the Waffle House waitress who I guess uh, didn't want to deal with the guy who kept sending his eggs back and pulled a gun on him? In Atlanta. I'll shoot you right now if you say eggs to me one more time. He ordered cheesy eggs. First they came out without the eggs. Then he then they came back with eggs with no cheese. He sent them back, and she came back with the cheesy eggs and a gun. And cocked the gun. And he took off. He ran he ran out, wow. Kenny. Wow, that's fierce. She is facing charges as you Oh, a little crazy. I guess her customers really got to her, huh? Yeah. Uh, an 11-year-old in Arkansas, Alan Baltz, just won Best Mullet in an annual contest. He got $2,500 in prize money and donated all the money 
to two foster care organizations because he was adopted. Oh, how nice. Isn't that beautiful? Bring back the mullet. Yeah. A 32-year-old guy in Michigan had a dream that so he was going to win a jackpot. He went out the next day and bought a uh, scratch-off. He won a million dollars. Candy? Why can't that ever be me? Yes. Uh, a firefighter in Iowa recently saved a dog from an apartment fire, but it needed so much medical treatment that the owner couldn't afford it. The owner was going to put the dog down. The firefighter asked if he could have the dog, and he adopted the dog, paid for the treatments, and now is with the dog candy I that he saved. I that story very much. Yes, and finally, a shelter in North Carolina posted uh, videos and photo, and People Magazine did a story about a cat and a guinea pig that are so close, so bonded, they could not be adopted separately. Someone had to adopt them together, and Aww. a woman and her son came in and ad- adopted the cat and guinea pig combo. I love that. They love each other so much, at night they snuggle up next to each other. Oh, it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. You got new, new squirrels at your house, Candy? Any new squirrels? Um, we're not as into the squirrels. We don't have quite the same setup to be as close to them, but we do see them all the time. And Tilly is a big squirrel chaser oh she loves to chase the squirrels all right you let her on now a she's leash trying to figure out well we take her to the uh, dog park ah got it and the squirrels are all around she tries to climb a tree she hasn't gotten that <laughs> down yet but boy she loves her squirrels too yeah no uh, no fear that she's ever gonna catch one though right I'm not really fearful that she will, but she's pretty quick. Yeah. You know, they have the option of scooting up a tree in two seconds, so. Yeah, well, be careful out there, yes, right? Yes, all right. It's dangerous. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.